This is the 14-foot uh, tango skiff that I've been building. It's uh, designed by Hank Bravo. And you can get his plans to build it at tangoskiff.com. I've been working on this boat over the winter. Hadn't really been in too much of a rush. And it's been pretty cold here. Uh, you can see I built a pretty simple cradle to put the boat on. I put it on some casters. Uh, that way I can wheel it around my shop. I can pull it out when I'm working on it, put it back away when I'm not working on it. Uh, you can see the uh, unique transom that Hank put on the boat. Uh, it's supposed to give it more positive buoyancy in the back uh, so we can run with a smaller motor. Um, I got some painter's tape on here because we're getting ready to put the top coat the first coat of the top coat on the boat. We're going to be using Epifana's uh, one part yacht enamel. Now the inside and the rails are going to be white. The seats are taped because uh, they're going to be varnished later. Uh, the primer that's on there right now, now is a one part Epifana's uh, primer. Uh, we're going to have one storage compartment in the front of the bow in that seat it's covered up by the newspaper right now and we're gonna have two storage compartments in the back seat and the gas tanks gonna go in the middle and we left the boat as open as possible uh, as you can see here because we're gonna go ahead and uh, have a tiller steer on it I added some quarter knee uh, clamps here in the back. Uh, main reason I put those there is so we could have a place to put some cleats on the back of the boat. And then we've got a bow clamp up front and that's where the front uh, cleats gonna go. The outside of the boat is gonna be the black brown uh, Epifana's yacht enamel. And then again, these rails above the painter's tape are going to be the white yacht enamel. So I'm getting ready to put the paint on, hopefully today, uh, all the white. And then I'm going to let it cure for a while and uh, sand it down and, and do a second coat. After that, I'll be flipping the hull and I'll be putting on the uh, outside color on the outside of the hull. And as soon as I get all that done, I'm sure I'll go ahead and put another video up. And if you want to check out the construction of this boat and see it from beginning until now, you can go to ncboatbuilder.com and you can look at my blog on there and you can see the construction from start up until right now.